Hello, this is Kazimi Di Hassan. Welcome to my project presentation for wireless communication EL 6509. The name of my project is Comparative Analysis of Equalization Techniques for VBlast MIMO Architecture. First of all, I'm going to provide a presentation outline for the whole project. Um, the first topic I'm going to discuss is about the MIMO technology, that is the multiple input and multiple output. Then I'm going to move on to the different architectures of MIMO. Added to that, I'm going to discuss the different equalization problem, the issues that are currently existing in the literature. Then I'm going to derive the mathematical MIMO system model. Um, after that, uh, the C++ MIMO architecture will be represented. Different types of equalization techniques such as zero forcing, minimum mean square error, zero forcing with success successive interference cancellation, zero forcing with optimally ordered successive interference cancellation, uh, minimum mean square error with optimally ordered SIC and maximum likelihood will be discussed. After all these uh, techniques are discussed, they will be analyzed and they will be simulated in MATLAB and some of the results of the simulation and observation will be pre presented. Finally, um, this presentation and the project will be concluded with some remarks. So let's start with MIMO. What is MIMO? MIMO is a multiple input, multiple output system which gives a very high data rate and it improves the channel capacity. MIMO usually works by deploying multiple antennas at the receiver and the transmitter. It can extend the range of the link and it can uh, upsurge the data throughput. And the most attractive feature of MIMO is that it doesn't require any additional allocation of channel bandwidth or transmit power. MIMO exploits the multiple property of rich scattering wireless channel uh, which results in spatial diversity. Uh, MIMO uh, creates the spatial diversity by reducing the sensitivity to fading and uh, it usually works by delivering the spectrum in several spatial paths. In 3G or 4G wireless networks, MIMO FDM is a key element. Um, there are lots of MIMO architectures that are present in the literature. Uh, among them, the BLAST architecture is very famous. Uh, the BLAST architecture is known as the Bell Laboratories Layered Space-Time architecture. There are basically two types of BLAST architecture. One is the D-BLAST, which is the diagonal BLAST, and the other is the V-BLAST, which is the vertical BLAST. The D-BLAST is an elegant coding structure in which the blocks are dispersed in time and space across diagonals. Well, um, if we increase the number of antennas linearly, then the throughput capacity can go up to 90% of channel channel capacity. But the problem with DBLAS is that it's, uh, it suffers from implementation like complexities, so it makes it difficult to apply in initial establishment. Now, to solve the problem of the DBLAST MIMO architecture, um, the VBLAST came into the picture which is one of the earliest architecture anticipated to take advantage of the favorable capacity of MIMO channels. Well, uh, it basically uh, works by spatially multiplexing the coded or uncoded streams. Higher capacity is achieved. VBLAS demultiplex de the input data streams into n independent substreams. The receiver can separate the substreams one by one using ordered interference nulling and cancellation. The main goal of this project is to analyze this VBLAST, how it performs, and how the different equalization scheme works in the VBLAST architecture. Now we move on to the next topic, which is the equalization technique. Uh, what is the motivation of equalization that I will discuss in this slide? Well, in harsh mobile radio channel, that is when we have the Doppler spread or the multiple fading, the wireless communication system needs some sort of efficient signal processing methods to reliably detect the data. Multipath fading introduces the intersymbol interference or ISI which is uh, which incurs in the time dispersive channels. So this has to be uh, taken care of or compensated by the equalization process. Now the rapid growth of wireless networks uh, and uh, uh, the booming of MIMO and STBC has provided new challenges in the field of channel equalization. Well, this is next. We move on to the MIMO system model, and um, this is a MIMO block diagram that is represented in this slide. 
Um, as definition says, the MIMO employs several antennas at the transmitting end and the receiving end. So as we can see in this picture, like the transmitter has T transmit antennas and the receiver has R receive antennas. One important thing to notice in this diagram is that uh, each symbol from one transmitting antenna reaches each antenna of the receiving, receiving end. So the diversity gain in this case is achieved in MIMO by using these multiple links. Continuing, continuing with the MIMO system model, um, it can be explained as a spatial multiplexing where the multidimensional signal processing aids to multiplex the parallel streams of data in space. Here a mathematical model has been represented over here in the left side of the screen where a matrix of x1 to xt is shown which is the transmitter symbols from transmitter 1, 2 and t respectively and it's usually represented with the symbol s bar and this all these data sets or x1 x2 gets into the MIMO channel and after it surpasses the MIMO channel it's reached to the destination which is the y1 y2 to the to yr for the receiving end the symbols received by antenna 1 2 and t are y1 y2 yr which are which is denoted by the vector y bar this is the final MIMO system model mathematical form here we can see um, uh, four types of vector. The first vector is the receive vector, receive symbol vector. The second vector, which is the H vector, it is known as the channel matrix. The third vector is the X1, X2 to XT, which is the transmitting symbols. And the last vector, which is represented by N, is the noise vector. A short form of this uh, matrix form can be written as uh, Y bar equals to H, X bar plus N bar. And uh, the elements of the channel matrix, they are usually known as flat fading channel coefficients. Now, in VBLAST MIMO architecture, uh, it is a kind of nonlinear MIMO receiver scheme because it uh, employs a successive interference cancellation, so which is known as SIC. So, what it does is basically um, from a particular symbol, it uh, uh, one by one at one particular step it removes the effect or the interference of one symbol in this way um, at the end of the at the end of the process we are left with only one signal which is totally uncorrelated and it's, it's pure form so it's easy to decode here um, uh, we use the concept of the inverse uh, matrix or the pseudo random matrix to uh, to deduce the vblast mimo architecture system um, this sim this process can be repeated by the decoding x2 and so on. So this process continues until the last symbol is left in the coding block. The one of the advantages of this VBLAST scheme is that this diversity order can progressively increase as you proceed through the screen. As we can see in the last stage, we have left with only one signal and one channel matrix. Now we move on to the different types of equalization techniques that we're going to apply in the VBLAST MIMO. First of all, uh, we're going to apply the zero forcing. The zero forcing um, is an inverse filter providing an infinite length null ISI uh, simply by inverting the folder frequency response of the channel. So basically in this case what happens is that a truncated version of the non-infinite ZF, that is a zero forcing equalization technique, is usually applied to bring down its domain to a finite length equalizer. Here, um, the form, the estimation of the zero forcing is shown as x hat equals to h t h inverse h t y bar, where h is the channel matrix and t means the transpose. And if we do some uh, like the modifications and manipulations, we'll come with the form that has been shown below. And if we see that in this equation, if the h tends to zero, that means if the channel matrix goes to zero, then the noise will be uh, going up to infinity, which is a big disadvantage of the zero forcing. Uh, next, our next scheme is the minimum mean square error, which is also known, on a, known as MMSE. Um, this is basically an alternative and a more robust solution uh, to MAMO receiver because the ZF, uh, it usually amplifies the noise, which is not a good sign for MAMO systems. So, MMSE takes the Bayesian approach. So, it treats the both the transmit and receiving vector as random as it minimizes the mean. Um, MSMC usually uses the notion of linear estimator. So 
um, in the in the equation below like in the left left side of the equation we can find the standard estimation form of MMAC now if you, if you do a bit of manipulation and if we set the, the the channel matrix to zero we see that it doesn't go to infinity so the as from seen from the equation the estimation doesn't blow up to infinity as in zero forcing therefore the MIMO MMAC does not result in noise enhancement which is a good advantage of MIMO MMAC Next, we move on to another type of equalization technique, which is known as maximum likelihood or ML detection technique. So, for this kind of uh, detection technique, the measurement is done in case of the Euclidean distance between the received signal vectors, and to find the minimum distance among all the possible products of transmitted signal vector in the channel H, the ML detection is used. So, when minimizing the vector error probability, the ML scheme provides the optimum performance. So, this is one of the best scheme known in MIMO 